academic issues, poverty linked, his research linked, and healthcare linked in the country. And please don't, to, don't try to, I mean, again, request and appeal to all of you who will have thousands of questions. Don't try to transgress to bigger political and all those issues, which I think he's having all through the day since, uh, since he landed in this country. So uh, with that, I would, uh, I would really open this forum and would request that each of you please come with one one question uh, and that would be uh, doing justice to so many of you sitting here. So uh, I think uh, that would be good. And maybe, you know, pardon me if I'm, I'm, I'm coming forth with a whip in my hand to stop you. I mean, because I have, we have to do it. We have got time for, uh, for, for 45 minutes from now on. So maybe one question to start with. So, Prime Minister, make, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to take no more questions on this. Prime Minister started by cracking a joke about how the media is trying to trap me to say anti-Modi things. Now, he's been watching the TV, he's been watching you guys, and he knows what you're trying to do. So, I think stop. Yes. I have no idea. I, I, I don't, uh, I think one, one, I take pride in the fact that I'm happy to say I have no idea about many things. I have no idea. <coughs> Let me say one thing, which is that, in fact, we have one of the highest share of private expenditure. So the healthcare budget is not at the margin. People are spending money. The question is more, are they spending the money on the right things, and are they getting value for that money? And that, that's what we're trying to fix. You don't seem happy with that answer. So um, would you please uh, let us know um, the kind of research that you've put in over the years along with the collaboration, which is giving, is shedding more light on the kind of problems we have in healthcare. I mean, I, I did answer that, uh, that maybe too briefly, but uh, what I was trying to say is that I think the big, big question is when people spend lots of money, are they spending the money on the right thing? And there the quality of the healthcare they're getting is the key issue. And the research we've been doing for 20 years now on healthcare suggests that a big concern is that they are not getting value for money. What should be done? Oh, lots of things. I mean, one of the things we, the topic of this today's seminar was what should be done. And uh, I'm going to say a little bit and let, let maybe Dr. Chaudhary, if he wants to add to that. Um, we, what we're trying to achieve, one of the things is take the people who are practicing healthcare, who are not necessarily trained a lot and train them more with the idea that they are providing health care. We can't deny their existence. They may not have an MBBS degree, but they are providing health care. You have to somehow recognize their existence and you have to get them so that they can be frontline workers. I, I think Gautam, I know Gautam. So he's from Calcutta. You, you tell in English so that other people English. can also come yeah. to him. Yeah. Yes. You are uh, uh, giving training to the uh, so called poor cluster or Dami cluster of uh, patients under uh, senior citizens. Could you please tell me how are you uh, uh, trying to implement the project uh, so that the rural healthcare system will uh, get benefited? I mean, I don't think I'm saying, I, I, think, I think already answered that question, which is that I think 
you can either deny that they exist and given that most of the health care is provided by them, you can then bear the consequences or you can actually recognize their existence and then you can actually regulate them, you can train them, you can require standards of quality. Apni onek bolte the. Aar 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 ek jinke bolte the. No, I haven't thought about it. And what is the, uh, I mean, when you are worried about uh, this quality of education, what is your... I've done 25 uh, years of research on it. I, I'm worried about it. I've already paid my dues a little bit to it. And then we're still working on it. We still try, you know, we've, a very large part of my own work in India is on education, trying to improve uh, qual the quality of teaching. and. Most of those are with Pratham, and many of them are published. You can look it up. It's not, it's nothing, it's, it's very much, I mean, the, one of the things that the Nobel Prize Committee recognized is that body of work on education in India. Uh, Professor Banerjee, there is this program in West Bengal called Konya. Konya I, I don't know about, enough about it. So I, 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 this is a guided cash transfer to the Galicias to continue their studies uh, up to tools and uh, then... I, I don't know enough, enough about this. I'm not going to speak. I, I reserve the right to be ignorant about things and not answer them. Uh, I, I'm not supposed to be the person who knows every, everything. I'm going to insist that that's important. We should speak about what we know and not just use this as an opportunity to opi air opinions about everything. I think you've asked. I'm going to let somebody else I ask. You, you did. You did. I, I'm not that. English may put you. English may put you. You are happy with the uh, Indian economy and what uh, you have in this EPM? Uh, I won't answer that. Ask a question that's more specific than yeah, that. I, 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 at the very outset, I tried to, you know, because this was really all through the day we had stormed our brains, and Abhijit has contributed tremendously. So it would be great if you use this opportunity for, you know, healthcare planning in the country, rural healthcare delivery in focus, or his areas of research, which all of you know, you must have done your homework on this. And so please come forth with some information which would use your, uh, you know, copy also. Go ahead. I think, I think it's a very needed, uh, it does something very important, which is it deals with the fact that uh, healthcare expenses wipe families out. And it does something very important there. I think it's something that we need. We need to find ways to, so that families don't lose all their assets when they, when somebody in the family gets sick. So I think it serves a very important gap in, in our economic, um, in our economic structure. I mean, it was not, it was, it's not the kind of meeting that has a recommendation, but it was a meeting which was very fruitful. I thought I learned a lot. And I think it's, it's a st it was starting a conversation with the Niti Aayog in particular and, and with ICMR on what do you do about this world where, you know, there's enormous amount of kind of health care that's provided outside the formal health care system. So that, that's what this conversation was about. Most health care, like majority, much more than a majority of health care is provided by people who are not recognized as health care providers. What do you do in that world? That's the question. There are so many issues, Indrani, can you be a bit more specific for him to answer? Look, uh, you know, I, I, again, I, I don't have anything particularly useful to say about that. I mean, I think these, this, 
the, I think the we're all struggling with this problem that you know there is uh, uh, Dr. Paul, who's uh, who was speaking here uh, an hour ago, was making the point that <coughs> behavior change is very important because, for example, you know the exclusive bre breastfeeding rates, which are critical for our children, is only 50 percent. So we, I think we have to somehow figure out ways to get women in, in who are critical agents in this to be more uh, full ta full participants in this program of of making our, our children and our country more healthy. Um, are you happy with the way we are progressing on uh, tackling malnutrition and expanding the capacity? I, you know, I'm, the, this is one of these gla classic glass half full, half empty. We had, for a long time, we had plateaued completely. And now it's starting to improve. Uh, we see the improvement. Is it fast enough? No. Is it still uh, better news than we had like five, seven years ago? The answer is yes. Professor Benedict. From the bank, I think. I was pointing to him. Professor Benedict, I have two small questions for you. Uh, first thing, have you interacted with ICMR? And the second <coughs> thing, have you suggested them something for the future venture researchers? So we j just, they were part, part of this meeting. We had a good interaction. And we're hoping we'll build a research partnership between JPAL, which is our organization, and ICMR. So, this is corporate capital city. Have you already suggested any sort of, uh, any sort of uh, idea to develop the human, to uh, improve the human development index factor? And second, to combat the present scenario, which may not be very good economic scenario. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I think I have done anything. Yeah, let me answer half your question, which is I have no contribution to the Human Development Index. I think it's fine without my contribution. It's useful. And I, have, and I don't want to answer that. I, I think that's not today's subject. I, mean, I, I don't know what you mean. I, I spend a huge amount of my life trying to do things that are not theoretical based. Uh, in fact, if you look at what I'm getting a prize for, it is the opposite of theoretical based. But you know, I, 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 I can't defend myself any more than that. Yeah, as as one of his co-workers, let me uh, let me mention. I mean, before I mean, I, mean, I just want to add. You know, we in, in at Liver Foundation West Bengal, we had been working together with Obijit and uh, J. Paul. So it, it had been a, a pleasure and learning for us to see the way he used to do homework, used to interact, used to sit on the on the on the doorstep of the uh, informal care providers whom we were training and all. So I mean, it's it's uh, it's onus on us to correct uh, this that he is absolutely reverse of what a theoretical scientist or a theoretical economist is supposed to be. And that's from our personal experience in uh, West Bengal, at least. And, oh, and that he had done in other areas also. It's very kind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, one small question, sir. The most important question before I want to is the slowdown of the economy. Uh, how do you Can we not talk about this? Uh, I mean, I've spent endless days Talking about the, uh, you, uh, you you had uh, if you listen to the number of times I've said something about it, uh, I think people are bored. Let's stick to the topic uh, of you know on the what's happening on the ground. I don't want to talk about it. I, I, I didn't have any unpleasant experience. I don't. It didn't. It didn't go anywhere. But that's often often the case. There are all kinds of constraints. I wouldn't say it was unpleasant. It was pleasant actually. Everybody we talked to was very generous and kind. It just sometimes there are constraints and it didn't go anywhere. But sure, sure. I always say anybody comes to us with a problem that's actually important and for the lives of the poor. That's our job. We 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 we, we cook for it. Uh, 
Uh, you already had a chance. Yeah, I guess there's no one else. So I, I basically want to, you know, this is a big uh, movement, and a proud movement for you all in the random controlled uh, trials that you do. But uh, there are also certain critiques of it. Do you believe this is the best way forward, or is there, you know, because of your critiques, you, you are saying that it's not, um, you know, most and then, uh, you know, how, how do you respond to them, and what's I your kind of response you want to give? I mean, them? I'm going to give the response that everything is only relative to the question you want to answer. You want to know whether uh, training some rural health care providers improves health care, you better do a randomized control trial. If you want to know what the monetary policy should be for a country, yeah. don't do a randomized control trial. Uh, yeah. uh, you are a, you are a uh, proud guide of whole world, Bengal, and Bangladesh. So what do you want to contribute? Carrying all this weight. <laughs> what do you want to contribute for the state of West Bengal? I, again, I say, we do, if we are asked to do something that's useful, we almost never say no. Jepal is always willing to go try it out, try to find ways to work with governments. We work with West Bengal government with Dr. Choudhury, and we will continue to do so, and we'll work with other, other governments. We, we, it, it, we don't go and just generally deliver wisdom. I don't have wisdom. I can. If you ask me a specific question, I might know something. I'm happy to use it always. Sir, uh, do you want to speak on the banking crisis going on? Because uh, in the public sector, there is uh, a big, uh, there is a. No, I, I